In this video we're going to discuss further angles measured in radians. And we're going to be able to do the same things we did to angles before, but when we were talking with degrees. That is, we'll be able to find coterminal angles, as well as complementary and supplementary angles. This is a slide from a previous lecture. We talked about how coterminal angles are two different angles, that is, two different rotations, that share the same terminal side. And we found several angles that were coterminal. For instance, 32 degrees, 572 degrees, and negative 688 degrees are all coterminal angles. To find these coterminal angles, we simply added or subtracted 360 degrees. Or in other words, we added or subtracted complete rotations. Well, now that we're talking about radians, we remember that a complete rotation in terms of radians was equal to 2 pi. So to find coterminal angles for an angle given in radian form, we will be adding or subtracting 2 pi. Let's look at two examples. If I'm given an angle of pi over 6, what is the first positive angle coterminal with that? And what is the first negative angle coterminal with that? Well, what we did before was to find the first positive angle, we took our angle and added a complete rotation. We added 360 degrees. Well, this time, we'll be adding 2 pi. Again, we can't just add those two numbers. We need to find a common denominator. And once we do that, we find that the first positive angle coterminal with pi over 6 is 13 pi over 6. To find the first negative angle coterminal with an angle, we subtracted a complete rotation. So instead of 360 degrees, we'll be subtracting 2 pi. So we take pi over 6, and we subtract from it 2 pi, again finding a common denominator, and we end up with the first negative angle that's coterminal with pi over 6 as negative 11 pi over 6. Another way this question can be asked is, given these two angles, are they coterminal? And to figure that out, all we'll do is take the smallest angle, and we'll add to it complete rotations. We'll keep adding 2 pi until we hit or pass our second angle. So if I have my angle of pi over 3, and I add to it 2 pi, after changing it to a common denominator, I find that I get 7 pi over 3. Well, I'm not there yet, so I'll take my 7 pi over 3, add to that another rotation, and then I end up at 13 pi divided by 3. Still not quite done, so I'll add one more rotation, and once I add that last rotation, I do get to 19 pi over 3. So the question, are the following angles coterminal? Well, the answer to that is yes, because if I add 2 pi repeatedly to pi over 3, I do get to the angle 19 pi over 3, so they are coterminal. We also found complements and supplements of angles. We found that complementary angles were two angles that added up to 90 degrees, whereas a supplementary angle, those were two angles that added up to 180 degrees. And we had the example of 56 degrees. Well, again, we're talking in terms of radians now. So instead of 90 degrees, we're going to be talking about pi divided by 2. Remember, pi over 2 is equal to 90 degrees. And supplementary angles, that used to be 180 degrees, now we're going to think in terms of pi, two angles that add up to pi. So if I have an angle of 3 pi over 7, and I want to know its complement, I will subtract it from pi over 2. So pi divided by 2 minus 3 pi over 7, I think our common denominator will be 14, and that leaves us with a complement of pi over 14. So the complement of 3 pi over 7 is pi over 14. If we added those two angles together, we'd get back to pi over 2. The supplement is found the same way, except instead of subtracting 3 pi over 7 from pi over 2, we'll be subtracting it from pi. And again, finding the common denominator, we find that the supplement of 3 pi over 7 is equal to 4 pi over 7. And there we've shown examples of angles measured in radians, finding the coterminal angles and determining complementary and supplementary angles.